comfortably, 45 degree it, and then bend your knees and say, is this the span that I want? Oftentimes, the hand mimics the foot. So in this case, it is. The left hand is outwards, palm out. The right hand is a hook hand, okay? Sit back, sit down. When the left foot pivots, the left hand goes to a cup. Then this is parameter one. And it's okay if the feet are staggered. Okay, turn, hips and waist, 12 o'clock cup. Turn, hips and waist, flip, close your stance. 12 o'clock cup, what happens at 12 o'clock? Remember that the right, the top hand, the stem is down rather than to the side. Turn, hips and waist, flip, open. Shift your weight, you're now at 50-50 in the middle. Flip the top hand, meet it with the bottom hand, close your stance. 12 o'clock, the stem is down of the top hand, whereas the bottom hand is cupped. Flip and open. Middle, cup, flip and close your stance. Middle, flip and open your stance. Middle, center, change or um, shift your weight, middle, centered, hook, left hand comes across, left foot mimics out and faces to another single whip. At this point, the left, okay, so the left knee never goes beyond the toe, which is a given. The left hand mimics the left foot in that it's, um, sort of outreached. It's wearing your mitten. The right hand, right foot is straight like an arrow, whereas the right hand has a bend in the elbow with a hook. All right? Now we're gonna learn how to do, uh, drag your, le your left foot back. Do you have a gap? Just checking. Okay, drag your left foot back and you should have a gap. So that was the basic thing that we learned in tin form, where on an L stance, T stance, L stance is out and to the side. If it's not out and to the, if it is out and to the side, it allows your, your knees to not take a, a, to be comfortable when you make that turn to a bow stance. So those principles remain the same if that you're finding that you're too close and you need to remind yourself to come out and to the side to do a single whip, rather than concentrate on your hands to say, uh oh, I need to get here, which is awkward for me. So if we do it correctly, the hands will go, for, will be, uh, will go be going for a ride rather than um, hands dictating what the movement should be and the feet following the hands, okay? So remember that when you practice, when you do all of Tai Chi. All right, so we're moving on to high pad on the horse if there's not any question, okay? So remember we're skimming, remember that you're gonna hear it again and um, we'll come back to it, okay? So high pad on the horse. So when high pad, when you pat your horse, you're at single whip. You take a half step, the hands go for the ride. I'm shifting my weight, therefore my weight's on the back. To get my weight on the back, I'm gonna to have to bring it all back so that this is weightless, okay? Watch again. Half step forward, sit back. Lead me into lifting this up Lifting and it's almost like a modified um, uh, brush knee or uh, repulsing of the monkey in that I come this way. So I was multitasking there. I want to show you again. So this is my single whip. Half step forward. Sit back. High pad on the horse. 
across. Step out to the left. Gather up that energy. Bring it up centered. Kick out. In. Move that heel like an L stance away from the back foot. Look through your double punch. So you're actually punching your opponent by his ears. So his ears are not here. His ears are a little bit further apart, right? We take for granted that you know that the thumb in Tai Chi is always on the outside. And when you punch, you don't have to squeeze that hand to punch it, but it's a meditation, soft, okay, soft. Sit back, sit down, pivot. Is that right? Left foot, left hand, up and out. And in, and then we'll talk about um, serpent and where to put your foot. Okay, so I know I was facing you, so I'll, we'll do it um, like, I'll do it like you, and we'll move forward. Okay, left foot on the line, right foot on the other line, right foot drag back, 45 degree it, bend that front knee, put out that left, um, left hand and with your mitten, softly hold your hook. Sing, second single whip. Half step forward on your toe. Sit back on your back foot, open the hands, weightless foot in the front. Lift up, bring it to your ear. Bring the left hand back to your waist. Draw it up to the mane of the, uh, the horse. Cross at the wrist. So this time the both palms are opposite each other, crossing at the wrist. You're going to step out with your weightless foot on its heel to the left. Bring out your hands, gather that energy, center yourself, right foot, right hand out, in, away from the back foot like an L, punch your opponent, double punch. Sit back, sit down. At this point, you're making yourself small to allow the pivot of the front foot, left hand, left foot up, and out. And in, hook, toe. So when you get ready for serpent, the toe now is directly in line with the heel of the planted foot. So can you plant your right foot so that you're, it's a, there's a bend. Bring your left toe to the heel of the right. Drag it across. And this is where you need to be without measuring what we just did in measuring, okay? And we'll get to that point. So that's something that you want to work out. So to show you how you did it, okay, and this is your, your opportunity to watch, you start out with two blocks of two separate lines, two separate feet. Drag the right foot back, 45 degree it. Match your left hand, match your right hand. Single whip, high, low, rather than same, higher, lower. And the left hand is deter your fingertips, you should see at eye level and see beyond that, okay? So that's your, that's your uh, parameter right there. Half step forward, sit back on your back foot as you rock the front foot. Up, heel, I mean, up, toe, ear, high pad on the horse bringing this left hand back to your waist. Cross at the wrist. Step out, palms down, heel down. Gather energy up, right hand on the outside, right foot coming up, kicking out. In, almost like an L stance, heel away from the back foot. Stretch out the back knee, don't lock it, double punch. Fist is not clenched, but soft. Sit back, sit down. Everything drops down, because the weight is on the back. Drops back, sit down. Pivot. Weight now shifts to the back, which is the right. Left hand, left foot up, and out. And in, hook, toe, Weight on the right. 
to come down. Okay. All right, so good. So we're skimming the surface. Know that there are really deep um, refinements that need to be done as we get into these movements, okay? But I think you hear me over and over saying, shift your weight, hands go for the ride. Um, it's like an L stance. All those things that we've been working on, but working and applying it to other movements. Okay, so if you learn something well in, in the 10 form, you build on that, you never discard it. It's always applicable and always correct, okay? So let's go over it a little bit more. Two feet on the line, open up your minds, pivot, I mean, 45 the back, mimic with the hand with the, with the foot, high and low, half step forward, sit back, weight back, rock front, on your toe, weightless foot, up with the front foot to your ear, Pat your horse. As you go up his mane, cross at the wrist. Step out, palms down. Right foot, right hand, up and out. And in, turn, right heel down, stretch out. Bring your arms closer to your body. Look through your double punch. Sit down. Sit back, move, pivot, hands go for the ride, left hand, left foot up, and out. In, hook, down. Turn, set. Now look at your feet. Drag the front foot back. You should have that gap again, okay? So, what am I trying to help you with? I'm trying to say that when you move and you're doing it at home or any place and no one's there to help you, you check yourself to say, am I in good alignment, okay? Well, what we want to do is save our knees, do everything in a really uh, clear, concise way so that there will be no injury, okay? All right, your turn to watch. Half step forward, well actually this way. Half step forward, sit back, rock, up, down, up, cross, out, shift weight, up, out, in, down, Shift weight, sit back, sit down, pivot, left hand, left foot, up and out, and in and look, down, sit down, middle, turn to the left, set, drag that foot back, there should be a gap. Okay, so what we're looking at is we don't want to make that turn and have this because we know this will injure our knees, right? That was the, the lesson that we learned when we did our L stance out and to the side so that we will have the room to turn. So we want to be here, we want to set, we want to, right now it's almost a 60-40, we just call it 50-50 for um, an approximation then you're going to come up by shifting your weight, balancing, having that pocket, golden cockerel. Toe, and this is another one that you can practice because when this foot turns, this toe should be in line with that toe. And the only way you can do it is practice it correctly and get that approximation. So this is here. Up, pocket, toe, pivot, hook, split, down, turn, out, the opposite way now to the right, set, up, golden cockle.
Is that right? And then we're going on to Maiden Works or Shuttle. Okay? All hard movements, okay? but doable. Doable because we can still improve on it later. Okay? We'll start again from the uh, commencing form. Okay? Doing everything, thinking through. Okay? So part of the power of Tai Chi is that you're able to think through and use your mind. Not just copy someone or not just do it by rote, but clearly making your mind think through what is commencing form and how you're going to do it. Every little bit of it, okay? So make your mind work for you. Make your core work for you so that your hands definitely go for that ride. Grow a little taller. However it takes to grow a little taller to get that feeling that you are tall but relaxed. Heavy from the waist down, light from the waist up. Okay? Keeping that uh, shoulder relaxed, the spine straight, the glance way ahead the chin down. Commencing form. You're at 50-50. going to gain the weight on our right 60, 70, 80, 90, till our heel can come up. 100, open, toe, slowly, heel. Rotate, up. You're at 50-50, drawing up that water. Shoulder level, drop. Your shoulders, make yourself small. Show me that by flexing your knees. T and ball. Good size, storing that energy. Out on an L, move that ball. Here it is. Stretch, pong energy. Sit back, sit down, all rolled into one. Pivot out. Ball for better balance. Heel, move that ball, part two. Sit back, sit down, pivot, center, center, stretch. Half step, center, spin, sit back, look, point, Center, drop, bring it in, bisect, slowly, parallel higher, lift up the front foot, multitask, center, brush your knee, pocket, sit back, sit down, pivot, parallel higher, look, multitask, hands go for the ride. Sit back, sit down, pivot, parallel higher, multitask, hands go for the brushing of the knee, half step, sit back, rock, sit down. How is your um, lute? Are your hands parallel or are they dipped in? It should be dipped in. Right now when you're talking, the weight in the back kind of gives you a hurt. Drop your front foot, center your front hand, don't turn your face, center. As it rises higher, oh, turn your neck. Look, multitask, lift the front foot up, bring it to your ear, stretch out. As you move and pivot, we're looking at our target in the front. No turning of the head. Center. As the backhand rises, turn. Lift. Ear. Heel. Look at your opponent. He's in the front. Still look there. Center. Then as it rises, look. Or glance. Multi. Ear. Toe. Look at your target as you repulse your monkey. Last one, do your modifications. You're centered and looking. As it rises higher, you're looking. Then backwards motion, modification, repulse, final. Hold your ball on a T-stand, centered. When you're centered, you can do an L. Here we go. Out, L. Push him away. Stop. Turn. Drag him down. 
sit down with that power. Turn, contact, push out that energy. Separate it and roll back. Hands go for the spiral. Sit back, sit down, pivot. Fall and tea, storing that energy to L and ward him off. Turn, then drag him down and store that back foot with energy. Turn and stored energy then goes up and across to push out. And roll back. Hands spiral for the ride. Sit back, sit down, slowly, pivot, cup, modify cloud hands, cup, T, hook. Look, across face, out, single whip, high and low, knit where your mittens. Sit back, sit down. Hand moves with the foot, cup, parameter one. At no time are my hands there. They got there because of my positioning of my body. Shift my weight, my hands go for the right at 12. Continue to go for the ride, turning my hips and waist, closing my form. Hands go for the ride, dictated by the waist and hips. Dictated by the waist and hips, out. Dictated by my hips and waist at center. Dictated as I flip and close. Dictated to open. And dictated to close. And middle, T, hook, look, across, out, turn, single whip. Half step forward. They continue to go for the ride as you sit back. Rock and come up his mane. Cross, out to your right your left heel, sorry, up, and right kick out, in, gently down, stretch out that knee, look through your double punch. Sit back, sit down, make yourself small, drop your shoulders, turn, left hand, left foot, up, and out, and in, Toe at that specific point, down, halfway, along your um, leg, up, good pocket, nice golden, um, golden cockerel. Toe, pivot, hook, split, feet are parallel, pivot to the right, set, up, golden cockle. Heel, hold your ball. Okay. Get again.